Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to create a text file of the contents of a Windows directory and then analyze that data in Excel. So in this example, I just want to see if there are any discrepancies between the PDF invoices on my computer and the data within QuickBooks before I send those invoices on my computer to a client. And so I'm going to start by looking at my data in Excel that I pulled from QuickBooks and I've already formatted. And I can see that I have 52 invoices there. And if I pull up my directory of invoices, I can see oops, I can see that I have 54 invoices. So there's a bit of a discrepancy there. And obviously, it wouldn't be too much trouble to um, eyeball the differences, but it would be much harder if, it, if I was comparing multiple points of data with thousands of rows each. And so I'm going to just show you a quick shortcut. So within Windows 7, go down to the Start menu, or I mean the Start. Click the Start button. Type CMD under the search there here, and that's just for Command Prompt. Go ahead and open up a new Command Prompt. And if you have Windows XP, uh, click the Start button, then click Run, and then type CMD, and then click Enter. And uh, once I'm in the command window, I just need to navigate to uh, my directory. And if you're unfamiliar with DOS commands, you can find the essentials with just a quick Google search. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to uh, my desktop now. And then I'm going to open up the directory. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and type... DIR for directory, which is actually to show the the, uh, the contents of the directory. I'm going to do forward slash B, which is a switch to show just the bare minimum file information. I don't want any of the timestamps or the sizes of uh, each invoice. I'm do space uh, greater than symbol, and then I'm just going to type the uh, the name of the text file. And so I'm just going to use invoices.txt, and you can name this whatever you want. And then I'm going to go back to my directory. You can see the text file there. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the invoices from the text file here back into Excel. And, you know, depending on the way your data is set up in Excel, um, you can compare this information in a number of different ways. You could use a VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or anything like that. And so I'm going to just actually just do a conditional formatting just because I have this set up uh, very, very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Then I'm going to do a find and replace to uh, get rid of the uh, PDF extension. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that PDF. And I'm going to replace that with nothing. That made 54 replacements. For the source here, I'm just going to just type PC, just keep it uh, simple. And then I'm going to highlight all the invoices here. I'm going to go to conditional formatting, and then highlight cell rules, and then I'm going to se select duplicate values. That's going to highlight all, that's going to obviously highlight all the invoices that have duplicate values or I'm sorry all the data points with duplicate values in that range and I'm gonna go up here I'm just gonna do a, a quick filter so sort and filter filter and then from the drop down menu here I'm gonna sort by color and I'm gonna put no fill here and that's just gonna bring the, um, the invoice with no fill to the top and basically those invoices and those invoices are the invoices that have no duplicates in other words they are not found uh, within the QuickBooks data and uh, I'm just guessing that those invoices are probably for a different uh, client or customer and there you go there's a quick way to create a text file the contents of a directory within Windows and then analyze that data within Excel thanks for watching